Good afternoon, my fire teammates. Uh, this is Coach Driscoll's coming to you live from the atrium of the Rain Fryer Development Center. And I can tell you it doesn't feel the same without having my teammates around me. You know, today we're celebrating the 59th All Sports Gala, and we're here to honor you. And I promise you, we're not going to let a small virus get in the way of celebrating the most amazing year we've had in a long, long time. A couple things I want to share with you today. First of all, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart when I kicked off the fall season and I asked you to join with me in trying to create the model program in all of college athletics. And I can say proudly, you did achieve that. You remember we always want to be the most respected program in the nation where you graduate every single student athlete and compete for championships, and that happened. So thanks for that. And secondly, I just wanted to tell you how proud I am of all of you. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart as well. You've gone through one of the most difficult times in the history of mankind. And I know how heartbreaking it was for you to lose your senior season. I know because I was in New York City with the men's basketball team when Coach Cooley and I had to tell you young men that you weren't going to play in the Big East Championship and you weren't going to play in the NCAA Championship. The lacrosse team was 6 and one we were scheduled to host the Big East Championship here in Friartown, and I know we would have made the NCAA Championship and compete for a, a Big East Championship as well. And then, of course, we had our tennis team and our softball team down in Florida, and we had to bring them home early. And I could only imagine, as a former athlete, how difficult that was for you. But you know what? You're Friars. This is Friartown. You handled it with dignity and class. And I tell people all the time that, you know, Friartown is built to handle these really difficult times, hard work, dedication, selflessness, commitment, all the things that make this family what it is today. Us, we, together, Friar family. And I never really want you to forget that. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. And today's a celebration, and we're going to have some fun. We've got some big-time videos. We're going to celebrate all the good stuff that you've created here in Friar Town. So thank you, and uh, let's enjoy this special gala together. You know, at this time, I want to introduce you to my teammate, a man who's been my colleague and friend for over 15 years. He's the president of Providence College. He has helped create a vision here, along with my teammates here in athletics, that's made us, I think, one of the best academic and athletic institutions in the nation. Now, he's retiring this year, and I'm really sad to see him go. But on behalf of all of us, all of our student athletes, all my coaches, trainers and staff. Uh, Father, I just want you to know how much we love you, respect you, and always know that you'll be in our hearts. So how about a nice round of applause for the president of Providence College, Father Brian Shanley. Good afternoon and welcome to our All Sports Gala. I want to begin by acknowledging that we're all sorry that you're not here. The campus seems empty, kind of like a ghost town without our students here. And I know we're all going through a difficult period of life. We've all lost things that we cared about, and you especially have lost the spring athletes your season. And for some of you, it would have been your last season at Providence College. And as we grieve the loss of things that are dear to us, we still have to move on in our lives. And I've often said this in my tenure here as the president, that the main value of athletics for Providence College is what you learn about life and yourself as a result of being a student athlete. And in this pandemic period that we're in, we're all being tested in new ways. And I really believe that the things that you have learned as student athletes about teamwork, about hard work, about grit, about perseverance, all those lessons that you've learned from your time as a student athlete come to bear on life right now. And I know that you have the resilience and the character to get through this pandemic even stronger than you were before. And today we celebrate your accomplishments. And one of the most important gifts that we have in our lives is the capacity for gratitude. 
And in a time like this, it's more important than ever in our lives to find ways and things to be grateful for, no matter how difficult the situation that we're in. And I want to conclude my remarks with you today by saying thank you. You've given me great joy and great sense of pride to watch you as student athletes at Providence College. I'm grateful to the coaches who have helped form you into the wonderful young men and women that you are. I'm grateful for the training staff and everybody that's been involved with athletics at Providence College. In my 15 years here, the success of athletics has been a really important part of what I take to be the improvement of Providence College. So I, I want to thank you for all of that. And I want to encourage you today to find things and name things in your life to be grateful for. For your coaches, for your trainers, for your teammates, for your family, for the Friar family, for the education that you have received. God continues to bless us even in difficult times. And today is the day as we celebrate your accomplishments to all be grateful for the many blessings that you have received through Providence College. You have been given a great gift with the Providence College education. And now is the time for you in the difficult times that we live in to take what you've learned and to flourish and to fight and to work together to get us through this difficult time that we were in. As Bob Driscoll would say, go Friars. Father, thank you for those inspirational words. Uh, it's what I find ironic about it is we talk the same language. You do it much better than I do, but uh, thank you for those words. And you know, our student athletes have a special message for you that we'd like to share. Well, we want to thank Father Shanley for support, being such a big supporter of the athletic department and the athletes specifically. Thank you, Father Shanley, for everything you have done for us, for supporting athletics in every way possible. Uh, first off, we'd like to thank Father Shanley for his uh, support, uh, not only through our four years, but um, through the 15 years he's been here. Um, it really means a lot to see him at the games. I'm really just making the school like what it is today, like everything that it's changed so much over time and he definitely has had a big part in that, so thanks for that. I want to say thank you to Father Shanley for being the, a great role model to PC and just always being there for the sports and also the student body. Thank you. Thank you, Father Shanley, for everything that you do for the athletics department. Um, we're very appreciative of the opportunities that you're able to present to us. Father Shanley, thank you for all the support uh, for me personally and our hockey program the last four years. I know us and the entire athletic department would not be where we are today without you and uh, the support that you give to the athletic program every single year. Thank you. Thank you for all the amazing support over the last, we've been here for four years, but for the last 15 years, it's been awesome. We just wanted to thank Father Shanley for all his support over these past four years. Um, cheering us on. So thank you so much. Go Friars. Father Shanley, I hope you could tell by the heartfelt good wishes to you how much you're admired and respected by our student athletes and that's the greatest testament you can have when your students actually admire and respect you as we all do. So uh, congratulations. You know, every year we call upon a graduating senior to speak on behalf of the other student athletes about what Friartown means to them. And I'm proud to ask uh, Jessie Spontak, who is a student athlete in volleyball. She's also the president of our Student Athletic Advisory Committee and is a phenomenal young woman and uh, has a few nice words she wants to say about Friartown. Jessie? Hello, my fellow Friars. As I reflect on the wonderful memories shared this past year and throughout my four years at PC, I can't help but think back to a quote written by A.A. A. Milne when Winnie the Pooh said goodbye to Christopher Robin. How lucky am I to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. Saying goodbye is hard. To the seniors who have spent their last bittersweet moments at PC, to the student athletes experiencing such a great loss from their seasons abruptly cut short, to returning athletes enduring uncertainty, to Father Shanley, our avid supporter of PC Athletics, whose final year as president of Providence College was interrupted, to coaches, trainers, administration, and the rest of the PC Athletics staff 
whose lives and livelihoods are suddenly halted, my heart goes out to all of you. Nonetheless, there is something unique about this experience. Unity. These are collective feelings, notions felt by everyone around the world, and now, more than ever, we are experiencing the unifying forces of love, courage, and compassion. While unity is a focus of the world's efforts right now, it is actually something Providence College has always taken pride in, and we wear it proudly on our t-shirts. Us, we, together, family, friars. Though this was not the speech I thought I would give, I wish to deliver the speech we all deserve in, honor, in order to honor and recognize the noteworthy things that we have done together as a friar family. In a time when giving back is so important, Providence College knows exactly how to do that. We have completed 3,245 hours of community service at 145 events serving 33 different organizations. As a school, we finished sixth overall in the NCAA Division I Teamworks Community Service Competition and first amongst Big East schools with four Friar teams in a top 10 finish. During the holiday season, we participated in Adopt a Family where we delivered 350 gifts to 125 children from 35 local families. We have extended our hearts outside of our campus to impact our community and in doing so, we have truly grown our Friar family. In a time when health is a paramount priority, we can proudly say that Providence College has made strides in prioritizing the health and well-being of our student-athletes. Through the outstanding leadership of John Rock, we welcomed the addition of Dr. Jessica Stewart, clinical sports psychologist, to strengthen the college support for student-athletes and ensure a holistic well-being. This year, the Innovation Lab became an impactful resource for student-athletes to recover both their mind and their bodies. And now, more than ever, our athletic department is truly living by our mantra, you are never alone but in Friartown. And we are looking to grow our commitment to creating a loving, supportive, and inclusive community through new, new initiatives like the Friar Family, spearheaded by SAC, and the Seniors Tribune, brought to fruition by the hard work of Jen Ray Nearson and all of our media and marketing department. Athletically, we soared. Men's basketball had a hell of a February, including five straight wins against AP Top 25 teams. We had not one, but two men's ice hockey players nominated for the Hobie Baker Award, Jack Dugan and Tice Thompson. Abby Wheeler won both the 3K and the 5K at the Big East Indoor Conference Meet, and our women's distance medley relay, comprised of all first-year team members, won the Big East title. Women's field hockey ranked in the Top 25 in the National Coaches Poll. The men's soccer team advanced to the Sweet 16 and finished their season ranked 14th. The men's lacrosse team won the Ocean State Cup, and the women's basketball won the Ocean State Tip-Off Tournament. Our swimming and diving team set 21 program records at Big East. There were 24 students with all Big East selections, two major Big East award winners, five Hockey East All-Stars, and two student-athletes recognized with All-American honors. I am extremely grateful for what this year has brought us, and I would like to extend my own personal thank yous for some people who have really impacted my life. Father Shanley, thank you for leading Providence College with the utmost faith, honor, and integrity for the past 15 years. From the state-of-the-art facilities to your physical support at our games, you have literally and figuratively built an environment for individuals to grow spiritually, intellectually, socially, and athletically, one in which our Friar family is truly present. From all of us student-athletes, we thank you for your unwavering support. Bob Driscoll, Jill Appoint, and the rest of our amazing athletic department Thank you for your leadership, innovation, and dedication to making PC Athletics the best that we can be. John Rock, Dr. Jessica Stewart, athletic trainers and strength coaches, thank you for keeping our minds, bodies, and souls in tip-top shape so that we, we may compete for championships on the field and in life. To OAS, thank you for your commitment and support to ensure our success in the classroom. Jen Cunningham and Shannon Catlin, thank you for your hard work and guidance as our fearless SAC supervisors. To Peter Reinfist, Kayla Viverka, Madison Ski, and the rest of the Student Athletic Advisory Council, whom I had a pleasure to work with this year, thank you guys for your dedication and diligence throughout this year. I would like to congratulate next year's SAC Executive Board, President Julia Murphy, Vice President Rainier Lee, Secretary Prena Cavallaro, and Social Media Rep Ali Barber. And to all of you student-athletes, I'm grateful for all of you. 
Without you guys, we would not be able to do the wonderful things that we have done in Friartown this year. We should all be very proud of what we've accomplished, and I challenge all of you to take on these trying times with what Providence College has instilled in all of us. Unity, courage, love, and gratitude. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy, and I'm glad we could all come together to celebrate and commemorate our 2019-2020 academic and athletic year. As always, go Friars! Thank you, Jesse, for those really touching and inspiring words. You know, at this time, uh, we'd like to recognize the individuals and teams who are able to complete their seasons and go on to capture Big East titles or advance to the NCAA postseason tournament. Roman pops it up. The shot to book is score! Trevor DeVoke on the side volley rips it home and the Friars lead this one. Griffin, Griffin leaves it wide for Wolf. Wolf plays it across. It is! Espen Wolf makes it 2 0. Lima now with the pass over to DeVoke. DeVoke settles the ball, shoots, and scores! Trevor DeVoke and the Friars move on to the NCAA's third round. Wheeler, another gold medal in the women 3,000 meters. It's a um, very competitive field. Everybody pretty much was coming back to double, so I was just happy that I could pull it off. Lily Tuck of Providence will win it for the Friars. They finished third a year ago, not this season. Providence will take home their first gold of the weekend. What a finish for the Providence Friars. Congratulations to our men's soccer program and our indoor track team for their amazing season. You know, at this time, I would like to honor our students for doing such an amazing job in the community, dedicating time and energy and resources to impact the world around them. One of our program's core values is honoring your gift. Our coaches instilled this idea in us that we are blessed with gifts. It is our duty to honor these gifts and use them for good. For me, a prime example of honoring your gift is community service and volunteering. To me, volunteering is a time where we get to go out into the community and give back to the city that gave us so much. It's a time where we get to choose what we're passionate about and make a difference in someone's life.
It's my pleasure now to introduce the award winners for this year, and we're going to start out with the Mal Brown Award. Established in 1940 in memory of Malcolm H. Brown, this award is the oldest athletic accolade presented at the college. Donated and for many years presented by its founder, Edward P. Conte, class of 33, the Mal Brown Award is given to a graduating male senior whose athletic career of intercollegiate competition portrayed to a marked degree the qualities personified by Mal Brown, sportsmanship, courage, and honor. The nominees for the Mal Brown Award are Tim Hendricks, men's lacrosse, Emmett Holt, men's basketball, Joao Serrano, men's soccer, and Spencer Young, men's ice hockey. It's my honor and privilege to announce the Mal Brown winner is Emmett Holt from men's basketball. The Mal Brown Award winner is Emmett Holt from men's basketball. Emmett Holt was a key player on this season's men's basketball team. After recovering from a life-threatening abdominal injury, Emmett's courage, toughness, and drive to get back to the court made him an inspiration. He was recognized as a recipient of the Big East Conference Sportsmanship Award in March after a vote by league coaches. The next award is the Paul Connolly Memorial Award. Established in 1977 in memory of Paul Connolly, Providence College's former Director of Alumni Development and Public Information. This award is presented annually to a senior female athlete who has distinguished herself among her peers and whose athletic career of intercollegiate competition has portrayed to a marked degree the qualities personified by sportsmanship, courage, and honor. The nominees for the Paul Connolly Memorial Award are Lydia Rice, field hockey, and Lindsay Scheibel, volleyball. And I'm proud to announce that Lydia Rice from field hockey is the Paul Connolly Award winner. The Paul Connolly Memorial Award goes to Lydia Rice from field hockey. Lydia Rice has twice been recognized on the All Big East second team in 2018 and 2019. One of her career-defining moments came when she made three critical saves in a shootout versus Quinnipiac to help secure her team's trip to the Big East tournament in 2019. Rice is also a three-time member of the Big East All-Academic Team. The next award is for both a male and female student athlete. It's the Sine Qua Non Award. That without whom, there is nothing. Established and presented annually by the Newport Area Alumni Club, the Sine Qua Non Awards are two of the college's 10 major athletic awards. It is given yearly to both a male and a female graduating senior who has distinguished him or herself among his or her peers without receiving proper recognition. The award seeks to acknowledge those students who have not been adequately acknowledged during their careers. The nominees for the Sine Qua Non Award for Female Athletes are Alessandra Arachi, Women's Soccer Avery Fransu, Women's Ice Hockey Ali Parker, Field Hockey Addison Root, Volleyball and Kayla Viverka, Volleyball. The female award winner is from women's hockey, Avery Fransu. The Sine Qua Non Award for Female Athletes goes to Avery Fransu from women's ice hockey. Avery Fransu developed into the women's ice hockey team's most dependable player. Although she wasn't recognized with accolades often, her steady presence on the back line led to her team becoming one of the most dominant defensive teams in the country. A two-year captain, Fransu was willing to help the team achieve their goals, regardless of the challenge they faced. The nominees for the Sine Qua Non Award for Male Athletes are Shane Cavanaugh, Men's Ice Hockey Michael O'Leary, Men's Cross Country and Track Joao Serrano, Men's Soccer Nick Shaw, Lacrosse and Khalif Young, Men's Basketball the male award winner is from men's basketball, Khalif Young. The Sine Qua Non Award winner for male athletes goes to Khalif Young from men's basketball. Khalif Young has been a steady contributor to the men's basketball program for the past four years. Regardless of the role his coaches asked of him, Young embraced every opportunity with the same determined mindset. As a senior captain, Young helped propel the team's late season resurgence while still maintaining a terrific academic standing. 
The next award I would like to present is the Jane Thompson Award. The Humanitarian Award. The Jane Thompson Award is in memory of Jane Thompson, class of 99. This award is presented to the male or female senior student athlete who, through the course of their career at PC, sets themselves apart from their fellow student athletes in the areas of public and community service and outreach to others. An individual who shows selflessness and caring for those around them and looks to what they can do to help others without the need to be recognized. An individual who personifies all that is good about being a student athlete at Providence College and exhibits selflessness, dedication, loyalty, courage, and perseverance under the most extreme personal circumstances. The nominees for the Jane Thompson Award are Janae Alderson, Volleyball Teresa Durkee, Women's Soccer Annie Flago, Softball Amanda Gaccione, Women's Swimming and Diving Claire Minerath, Women's Ice Hockey Madison Ski, Field Hockey and Jesse Spontak, Volleyball The Jane Thompson Award goes to Claire Minerath from women's ice hockey. The Jane Thompson Award goes to Claire Minerath from women's ice hockey. During her time at Providence College, Claire has embodied the qualities of Jane Thompson. She was an inspiration to her teammates when she overcame stage three Hodgkin's lymphoma and eventually returned to the ice. She is a leader in the rink and in the classroom. She was a captain her senior year while also maintaining the team's highest GPA. Claire has also been a positive force in the community by helping organize the team's annual mental health and hockey skating strides games. The next award is presented on behalf of Father Morris, a great Dominican here at Providence College. So take a moment and enjoy this short video on Father Morris. You know, Father Morris came to Providence College in 1956, which was two years before I was born. And he held almost every job on this campus except being president. He was acting president for a while. So he's been everything from a chaplain to an English teacher to a fundraiser, study abroad, executive vice president. I don't know any greater ambassador for Providence College than Father Morris. People just loved him. And nobody loved Friar basketball more than Father Morris. Just recently when Lenny Wilkins was back, he and Father Morris had lunch together, and that's how far back his connection to basketball goes. Every great player who's played at Providence College has known Father Morris. He'd always ask me how things were going on the team, but before that he would always ask me how are things going for the college. He just loved PC with every fiber of his being. This year's award winner from men's soccer is Joao Serrano. This award is presented annually to a student athlete who has had a profound impact on Providence College during their career. A two-year captain, Joao Serrano led his team on and off the field. He was a member of the school's first Big East regular season title in 2016. His teams also made appearances in the Elite Eight in 2016 and the Sweet 16 in 2019. In the classroom, he was equally as dedicated, maintaining a 3.5 GPA and with plans to return in the fall to pursue his MBA. Ladies and gentlemen, this time we usually show our student athlete video of the year honoring our seniors. But before I do that, I want to take a moment and thank and appreciate a number of my teammates that worked so hard under really, really trying circumstances to make this happen because I'm really proud of them and I, and I hope that you'll thank and appreciate them as well. I want to thank Christina Klum. I want to thank Tom Walker, Jen Reinerson, Jen Cunningham, Audrey Gunther, Mimi Borkin, Nick Rojas, Mike DeMars, Dave Hughes, and Brian Cantonella. Great teammates and just so appreciative of this great work. So now, without further ado, the senior video. Start it off? I'll start it off. Yeah. Do you want me to start it? You want to start it? Yeah, sure. I'm going to take my cock off. Are you saving it? Yes. I guess there's not much left. Okay. I need it. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to our team who have been more like our family this past four years. Thank you to the entire coaching staff, for Coach Amy for putting up with us in Lyft. I want to thank my parents, definitely, I know they're not there, but for making me. And then I want to thank definitely 
Margo, because thanks for recruiting me. Thanks for answering my transfer email. Thank you to our coaches, Coach Matt, Lisa, uh, Kelly, and Bert. Wouldn't be here without you guys. Thank you to uh, the coaches, the, the training staff, Sid, Zags, Coach Rick, all of you guys putting so much time and, and effort behind the scenes that it, it doesn't go unnoticed for us and it ultimately helps us to be successful at the end of the day. Thank you. To Providence College and especially to PC Women's Ice Hockey, thank you for the most unforgettable four years. To my coaches and the athletic staff, you guys put in so much hard work for all of us and it truly goes a long way. I know I speak for all of the seniors when we say we're going to miss you guys so much. Thank you to my coaches. Um, you guys were there for me through this journey. Um, I truly appreciate it. Um, I want to say thank you to my teammates. You guys were really there for me. Yeah, I'd like to say thank you to Coach John and Coach March for everything that they've done over my past four years. Um, certainly, I've had a different road than most, and uh, they basically let me have these chances in order to be here and compete in Friartown, and I couldn't be more thankful for that. My favorite memories here in Friartown, it would have to be between being down 4-1 and coming back to win 5-4 at Maryland, or the next game scoring the game winning goal against Creighton to advance to the lead eight. For me, those moments of togetherness and the way we celebrated each of those goals, um, being able to fight together late in games, and just be relentless are the moments I cherish. So I cannot thank you enough, Friartown. Um, I just want to thank you again. Friar Town has truly been an honor, and as always, go Friars. I think my favorite memory was probably when we beat Butler at their home field finally after four years. Um, in PKs. Yeah, you're being modest. She scored the <laughs> one of the PKs in the PK shootout, and it was honestly one of the best moments, I think, this season for our entire team. Yeah, it was a big like team collective effort, and I think every single person on the team had a role in that game, and it was amazing <laughs> for us. And another great memory we had, our class specifically, was our sophomore year preseason when we came in and everyone was so nervous because we had to run the beep test that day and the beep test just wasn't working. It broke. It broke. So we luckily didn't have to do it that season. And Kyle was freaking out. Poor yeah. Kyle. But we were all happy. It was the best day of our lives. Definitely a memory we all had as seniors um, is freshman year going into ODU game and decided if we were going to be in the Big East Conference and um, it was a battle the whole game and we ended up winning in overtime, um, storm the field and you know it was a great win knowing that we were going in the Big East tournament for the first time as us for you know freshmen and um, you know we're waiting for for our bus and you know all happy and stuff and this party limo. <laughs> rolls up and we're all looking at each other like is this for us and you know we get on and the lights are coming down and you know like music's just blaring and for like an hour and a half to the to the airport we just we were in this like party bus like going to prom but it was <laughs> to the airport yeah. <laughs> My favorite memory was the UCF trip we went to for spring break last year. Um, that was really, I'd never gone on a spring break trip before, so to get down to, to Florida and, you know, the warm weather, get to run, have a great time with, with all the guys, teammates, so that was definitely uh, my favorite memory and my favorite meet here. I think just a collective of things, whether it be in the training room, just the little moments like that, be, doing work freshman year, late nights up in Helen Burt, and just the people you get to meet, how closer you get with your, your teammates, the, tr the trips, whether it's all the 
Big East cross country, indoors, outdoors, those are always just a fun time. Um, and I would say my favorite memory as an athlete at Providence College would probably be my first Big East Championship. Um, it was in Ohio and the entire trip, it was just such a memorable experience. Um, it was my first really big race in college. I definitely want to thank all my coaches and all my teammates who have been with me throughout my four years here at PC and the entire athletic department and sports med for your support and you've definitely made it a lot easier to get through my four years here at PC and all your support really means so much to me. One of my favorite memories is when my sophomore year we played Georgetown and Villanova at home and we won both games. That's definitely one of the best memories that I have um, playing at home. Special shout out to Amy for dealing with every in and out injury that we could possibly come up with and send her way. Really kept her on her toes and she was our rock all year, so thank you. that will always stick with me is when we played St. John's and um, the ref got the wrong call and my teammates would know me with this one is when the ref was like um, I might have a mistake <laughs> it was too hilarious and coach guy really rattled up and I'm remember that <laughs> As this pandemic continues, I hope everyone is out there staying safe. And as I get prepared for the next steps in my life, I just wanted to stop for a moment and really show appreciation towards Providence College. Now there's too many people on this list for me to actually name, but that just really shows the characteristics that these people have here at Providence College. It's always been family oriented, people always reaching out to make sure that they are all right and just making friends that you usually wouldn't be friends with. Us five seniors, me, Alpha, Malik, Emmett, Pip. It's been obviously a bond that we created over this, even this is last year that was unforgettable. I think that our games playing at Uno late nights on the road before before our last games and kind of our our end, I think was something that I'll always cherish. And I'll be able to kind of look back and think about all the times I beat you guys, times you guys kind of snuck one out for me, but I think that at the end, I gotta really just be appreciative for what I did have and the moments that we did share. My favorite memory uh, with PCSD is definitely Swim Across America. Um, I think it's just like the best way to start the year off because we fundraise all summer and then in September we get a Saturday morning practice at the beach and I don't think you can beat that and uh, mm -hmm. I think it's also a great way for everyone to really start to get to know each other and it's our first travel trip as a team so uh, that's probably one of my favorite memories being here. Um, I think my favorite memory is this past season when um, the girls team beat Fairfield. Uh, it was a really great team win for us. Um, we had, everybody was a part of it, um, freshmen to seniors, and it was just a really great team win. I think my favorite memory would have to be uh, making it to the Frozen Four my, my junior year in Buffalo, but leading up to that, we. We scored six unanswered versus Minnesota State and then beat Cornell in Providence in front of in front of all the fans of school. So I think it was pretty special for us to do that in front of them and then getting there to, to Buffalo and getting a chance to win a national championship was was special for me and I know that uh, 
not many programs get that get that chance, so it was awesome. It's honestly hard to put into words what my time at Providence College has meant to me, but from the highs to the lows, I really wouldn't change a thing. Whether it be dreading early morning practice or team dance parties before and after games, the memories will really last a lifetime. These have been some of the best years of my life, and I cannot thank everyone who has been a part of this journey enough. There's so many great moments that have happened over these four years that it's really hard to pick just one, but... Um, I really cherish the time that we had during winter break together. We were pretty much the only team on campus and we would be either hanging out in the dorms, playing games, doing puzzles, um, or we were out snow tubing, playing outdoor hockey. Um, so those are some great moments that I'll always cherish. Uh, so our favorite memory was our Butler match last year. Uh, we were playing in probably a 95 degree bubble and the energy was absolutely insane. <laughs> we just wanted to shout out SAC. We've both been members for a couple years and we've loved it. And we love our president, Jesse Spontag. Woo! freshman year, you know, coming in freshman year and uh, making it to the, hosting the Big East tournament and making it to the finals, you know, and losing by one goal, you know, that was an awesome memory for us. In the Big East tournament that that year, our freshman year, uh, when Timmy, uh, Tim Henricks hit the, uh, <laughs> that like half field shot at uh, like right before halftime against Villanova, when we were really rolling and just kind of like to put us over the edge leading into halftime was unreal. Collectively, the Creighton, sweeping Creighton last year was awesome. It was like Saturday, it was like 19 innings, two walk-off wins, one of them was a grand slam, so that's definitely up there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And putting together the cut tape last year was a lot of fun. The cut tape that nobody knows about. Everybody has like one clip, so we all put the like from a song, like three clips from a song, so that's fun to put together. And making it to Big East, it's always fun. basketball games I've ever seen were in the 2018 tournament when PC went into three consecutive overtime games. Each game was better than the last, the energy was unmatched, and it was just so much fun. My favorite memory from dance team was from my sophomore year. It was the first time that PC dance team ever competed hip hop at nationals and we made it to finals. We got to dance on the band shell at Daytona Beach and it was just an unreal experience. I'll never forget the energy of walking out onto the band shell and having hundreds of other schools cheering us on. And the ocean in the background was a nice addition to it. At this time, it's my honor to present the Student Athlete of the Year Award. This award traditionally goes to a male and female student athlete, both in a team sport and individual sport. But this is a really unusual year with the COVID-19 virus. And this year, we're going to present it to all of our male 
and female senior student athletes. They handled the disruption of their seasons with dignity in class, uh, learned so much about what leadership is about, and I want these young men and women to be memorialized here in Alumni Hall for the rest of their careers because they went through something that nobody else in the history of Friartown has. And I'm really, really proud of you, and I hope you can tell everybody the rest of your life you were the Student Athlete of the Year here in Friartown. Well, that concludes our first ever and hopefully last virtual all sports gala, but I'm so proud and so happy to be part of this Friar family. And to you seniors, thank you. Thank you for making this possible. Thank you for leaving Friartown a better place than you found it. And let me ask you to do one more thing. Tonight, before you go to bed, please tell your mother, your father, your sisters, your brothers, anybody that helped you get to Friartown. Tell them you love them and tell them you appreciate everything you've done for them. Until we see you again, remember, as always, go Friars!